commitment to getting you answers continues with the addition of a national investigative team in Washington, D.C. This award-winning team of experienced journalists tracks down and exposes government waste. And this first story is an outrageous waste of your tax dollars. Well, at a time like this, when all of our budgets are tight, how can Washington bureaucrats justify the type of spending we have uncovered? Tonight, our Scripps National Investigative Correspondent Jim Osmond is live in Washington, D.C. to tell us how taxpayers are getting taken for a ride. Good evening. Good evening, Detroit. And here's our investigation taken for a ride. Let's take a look. You're aboard flight 1503 and we're ready for takeoff. There's a pilot at the controls, but something or someone seems to be missing. A few someones, actually. Critics say this is an enormous waste of your hard-earned money. This is absolutely outrageous. We're running $17 trillion in deficit. Attention all taxpayers, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy and expensive flight. Congress enacted the Essential Air Service in 1978 to subsidize smaller airports out of fear that larger airlines would abandon them during deregulation. It was a program that was only supposed to last a few years, but get this. 34 years later, the program is still going on, which raises the question, how essential is the Essential Air Service after all? Our investigative team boarded flight after flight after flight to see for ourselves. After all, each passenger seat is subsidized by the government. We logged thousands of miles in the air, and what we found may surprise you. We're traveling this day from Baltimore to Hagerstown, Maryland. This collapse seat shows they weren't expecting many people. You see the captain on the left? The guy to his right is not part of the crew. The plane was so empty, the captain allowed this passenger to sit in the co-pilot seat. And there's more. This flight had just one person on it and eight empty seats. The same on this flight. And this 19-seater from Cleveland to Du Bois, Pennsylvania had just one passenger as well. The essential air service is non-essential. Tom Schatz is the president of the Washington-based group Citizens Against Government Waste. Members of Congress like to have airports. They like the subsidies. It's a chance to show that they're spending money on behalf of their constituents. In our investigation, we documented almost 130 empty seats costing taxpayers approximately $155,000. Take a look at what our producer uncovered on a flight from Las Vegas to Ely, Nevada. He's about to get on board a flight where he's the sole passenger. That's right. The flight is totally empty, but each seat is still subsidized at a rate of $3,700, and it adds up. This one flight cost all of us a total of $70,000. In all, there are more than 100 subsidized flight routes across the country. In 2010, Congress allocated $200 million for the Essential Air Service program. Brian Sowa with the Rural Air Service Alliance says the flights are crucial for economic development of small town America. It's a economic driver within those communities to have the ability to bring in outside business into rural areas of the country. At a time like this, how can we afford to be flying empty planes? Florida Congressman John Micah is the chairman of the House Transportation Committee, which oversees the Essential Air Service. He says he's had enough. It's got to stop. The taxpayers can't afford it. story. One side would say, hey, look at all the empty seats we found in our investigation. But on the other side, they'd say, hey, out of our investigation, one of the 11 flights was actually full. So we'll have to see how all of this plays out. Now back to you. Jim, I wonder, is that why you're thinking that we heard the head of the Transportation Committee think that this is outrageous? Why then are the planes still flying? Is it because of what you just said? Yeah, I mean, in, in the sense that the Rural Air Service Alliance says that smaller communities need to have this air service to do certain business. So that is why it still exists, and also because there's 535 members of Congress that are trying to spread money around their districts. Jim Osmond reporting for us. Thank you so much for that investigation.
And of course, you can also find out more about our investigative homepage at WXYZ.com. And we have a link there where you can check out the subsidy status of airports in Michigan and the rest of the country. That was a good report. It sure was. Yeah.